Okay, guys, so we have a new stylus with a new, well, we have a new Apple Pencil and a new iPad. We're going to see how this goes. We are on section, and that's writing with the pencil part. Let's change that. Let's change this to a pen. Uh, and we are on section 2.8. And this is distance and midpoint. Uh, formulas and we're also discussing circles okay so let's first look at the distance formula okay and the distance formula simply allows us to find the distance between two points. Okay, and we can find that the distance formula is given as d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay. Where, of course, x1 and x2 are points. We're also discussing the midpoint formula in this section. Okay, and the midpoint formula simply allows us oops, allows us to find the middle of a line segment. Okay, and in this one, you actually get a coordinate back. So we're saying x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Okay, so you are pretty much uh, just finding the average here. Okay. And the last thing this section covers is a circle. Okay, a circle, of course, is the set of all points equidistant from a fixed point. Okay, and the standard form of a circle is given by x minus h squared plus y minus k, not h, oh, sorry guys, I'm still getting used to this y minus k squared equals r squared where hk is the center is the center and r is the radius okay we're going to make a little note here that we can convert the general form of a circle which is x squared plus y squared 
plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero to the standard form uh, by completing the square. So our old friend of completing the square has come back. Okay. Now, those are pretty much the um, general notes there for the problem. So now we're going to work through some examples where we're applying those notes. I'll leave that part right there. Okay, so if I look at example one, and yes, you can hear my 12-year-old playing Fortnite in the background. Uh, find the distance... Between each pair of points use simplified form and then round to two decimal places. Okay? And we're going to do three practice problems here under example one. First one is going to be number six from your textbook. And it is the point zero zero and with three negative four so it is telling us to find the distance between these two points uh, we're going to use the simplified form which is a simplified radical form and then we're going to round the two decimal places and we're just going to use our calculator to do that okay so pretty much if we're graphically looking at this i have the point zero zero and then i have the point three negative four okay and we're looking for the distance of that segment. Okay, so I know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to label this as x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, and I know my distance formula is d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and simply plug in those values. So I've got the distance equals 3 minus 0 squared plus negative 4 minus 0 squared. So that distance is going to equal 9 plus 16 which of course is the square root of 25 which is 5. So the distance there is 5. Now you don't have to write that in simplified radical form because there is no radical left. Okay, and of course there are no decimal places, so that one was friendly. There are no decimals left there. Let's look at number 9. Same direction, 0, negative 3, and 4, 1. So I've got x1, y1, x2, y2, and if I'm looking at this graphically, I've got the point 0, negative 3, and I've got the point 4, 1. And we're finding the distance between those two points right there. Okay, so I have d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And I'm going to plug those in. So that is the square root of 4 uh, minus 0 squared plus 1 minus negative 3 squared. That's going to give me uh, the square root of 16 plus 16, which gives me the square root of 32. Now, here's where we get to the simplified form. I do know that will break down. Okay. Uh, 
32 is really 16 times 2, which is 4 times 4 times 2. And I have 2 of a kind there, so that's going to give me 4 square roots of 2. Okay, so that is the simplified form. And then when we put that in the calculator, let's see. Oh, let's make sure I can get back to that screen in a minute. All I have to do there is go... Hmm. Let's see if we can find a calculator. I don't know if Desmos went ahead and downloaded it. Let's see. Yep. If I go to... We'll go to Desmos and put it in there. If I put in 4 square root 2... You'll see here that that's approximately 5.66. So I'm going to go back over here, and that's going to give me 5.66. Okay. All right, let's look at number 16. Okay, so I've got 2 square root of 3, comma, square root 6, and the point negative square root 3 with 5 square roots of 6. Now that's a little harder for us to look at graphically. You don't have to draw that out. Um, you could go to Desmos and plot those two points and kind of see what that was if you wanted to. Uh, we're not going to right now. We're just going to go ahead and find the distance. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so I've got d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay. Um, that, of course, is going to give me d equals the square root of negative square root 3 minus 2 square root to 3 squared plus 5 square root of 6 minus the square root of 6. Now, guys, we actually can put these together before you square them. You don't have to foil that because they have the same radical. They got square root of 3, square root of 3, square root of 6, square root of 6. So we can actually put that together because remember, this is like a negative 1 square root of 3. So the distance between these two points, well, negative 1 square root of 3 and negative 2 square root of 3 is negative 3 square root of 3 squared plus, that's going to be a 5 minus 1, 4 square root of 6 squared. Now let's kind of do a thought bubble and remember what it means to say negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. Remember, we do outside times outside, inside times inside, so that's 9 square roots of 9. Outside times outside is positive 9. Inside times inside is positive 9. So 9 square root to 9 is really 9 times 3, which is 27. And we're going to put that in a little thought bubble. So that distance is going to be the square root of 27 plus, let's do the same thing with 4 square root to 6 times 4 square root to 6. That's going to give me 16 square root to 36, which is really 16 times 6. And 16 times 6 is going to give me... 96. So plus 96. So that's going to wind up giving me uh, the square root of 123. Okay. 123 breaks down into 3 times 41, and 41 is going to be prime. So I'm going to go back over here to Desmos. That is the simplified form there. Go back to Desmos, and I'm going to put in uh, square root of 123 which gives me 11.09 and that of course makes sense because the square root of 121 is 11 and we're looking for the square root of 123 so it's going to be a little over 11 okay and that is finding the distance given two points so let's move on let's find the midpoint between two points there so let's move on to ex example two